Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Well, you know, yeah, market's crazy. Absolutely market crazy. This was, you know, five years ago, okay? Uh, last night you had Apple coming out uh, pretty much with lower guidance, right? Because of uh, the coronavirus and all that good stuff. Uh, again, this shouldn't be a shock to anybody. Uh, anybody who is doing business in China is going to feel the effects, whether they had the fiduciary, fiduciary responsibility to say it out loud or not is a whole different story, but they did so. So you had this morning, you had Apple, which is a huge way on uh, the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ 100, right? You had the futures down, you know, 170, 180 points today. Pre-market, you had all of the chip makers down, you know, all the Apple suppliers, all the chip makers. Again, they have a huge exposure uh, in China because, again, that's where they manufacture majority of their chips. And, again, the, the bears had every reason, excuse me, the bulls had every single reason today to just give up control. Again, nobody's turning around and saying, you know, they, they give up control for Armageddon and the market's going to go down 2,000 points. Say, but they had every opportunity to say, okay, you know what? This is the day Apple's guiding down. All the chips are down. Easy opportunity, right? Easy opportunity. Let's reset. Let's get the NASDAQ 100 down 200 points. Let the Dow go down 500 points. Shake some trees. We need a little bit of a rebound, right? We need a little bit of a rest. We need a little bit of construction, sideways action, distribution, whatever you want to call it. And if you look at the queues, the queues were green in the day. So amazing, just absolutely amazing. Um, there's really, there's really not many hyperboles left to kind of describe what we're seeing here. This is, this is, this is next level stuff. I mean, this really is next level stuff. When the, when the, when the Dow and the S and P and everything is rolling over down 250, 275 points, these stocks just don't care. They just absolutely don't care. Um, Tesla just. Again, a crazy upgrade today, 1,200, but had a slew of upgrades today. Some of the upgrades just didn't make sense. You had some brokers taking, you know, taking their price target from like 250 to 285. Uh, okay, w what's the point of even putting that on print? I mean, it just doesn't make sense. But again, I, I forgot who it was, uh, $1,200 price target uh, on Tesla. I, I really liked this trade this morning. I really, excuse me, last night, I really did. Um, when, when Tesla was down a little bit pre-market, I was like, all right, this is going to be good because it was just kind of consolidating. We laid out uh, all the, the data uh, for the last couple of days. Um, the recall got bought up. The S uh, SEC probe uh, got bought up. The, you know, the, the debt offering, right? They raised money. That got bought up. It was just a matter of time. I was looking at that uh, 820 level macro. Then today, you know, you go to the bathroom for 30 seconds and you see... Uh, Tesla was up like, you know, it was up 830, 840 pre-market. So, yeah, it sucked. It sucked, but what, what are you going to do? You know, what are you going to do? But, again, the rest of the game plan uh, was played out pretty well. Um, I loved that Roku trade today. Um, I, I said it, you know, I said it over the weekend. Um, if you go through my Twitter feed, you'll see it. You know, th that was one of my one of my thoughts of action. You know, they 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 had a huge nasty reversal. Uh, there's two ways to play this thing. We talk, we cover this both in um, the live webinar tape, Morning Strategy, and over the weekend that I said, hey, the game is over there. Uh, any move into supply, that should get rejected. It goes green to red, gets confirmed. Friday's low, gets destroyed. Roku got absolutely wrecked. Um, it was a great trade, really, really good trade today. We'll talk about that in a second. But uh, overall, again, uh, incredible uh, bullish tones. You had stocks squeezing. You had stocks that are lagging, uh, that are waking up. Again, I covered uh, Facebook as well uh, over the weekend. I really liked uh, that setup as well. NVIDIA got another upgrade. A Amazon is getting just peppered nonstop with size. Again, guys, this isn't like $15,000, $8,000 somebody's betting. They're, they're putting up you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars, you know, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars in this 2200, 2250, 2300, 2400 calls, near term expiration. Again, especially in the weeklies for the 2200 calls, uh, very, very aggressive today. Uh, Square is very, very close to a multi year breakout, right? Multi, not even a multi day, multi year breakout. So you have to love the action. I mean, Tesla, you know, it closes at the high of the day, uh, high of the day today. So it looks like it's going higher. So Again, the bulls are winning. You know, the bulls are winning. Again, we don't know 
uh, when this bull cycle will run out or where this bull well will run dry. But again, there was no fear. There was literally no fear today in the market. Uh, the only value shorts that we saw today was finally the backside move of uh, SPCE that I tweeted out that 33 level was going to be big, that 30 level pre-market was going to be big, uh, that, you know, so everything came down. It went down all the way down to like 28 and change. So we'll, we'll talk about all the individual pivots in a second. But again, you know, if you're a new trader, I just understand this is just ridiculously not normal, right? Not normal. Um, it might be too aggressive to kind of where you are right now in the learning cycle, okay? I know a lot of you guys uh, have been only trading for a very, very short period of time. And it's so, you know, it's so hard for the brain to catch up to the action. That's why the FOMO never leaves, right? The FOMO only gets uh, amplified. It only gets bigger. Uh, it only kind of uh, retards your progress beca because again, you, you, you're thinking the chasing cycle will never end. And unfortunately, uh, when it does end, it's gonna end in spectacular, right? Spectacular uh, fashion. So uh, going into tomorrow again, you know, it's, it's the, the Q's area of interest doesn't change. You know, again, here's the area that it needs to get out of, right, guys? Again, the, you know, the, the technicals here don't change. They need to reclaim. Uh, they need to reclaim this like 35 area, right? 35 uh, on the close, or they need to lose this 232 on a close. But either way, something's got to give here. Uh, again, all signs continue uh, to be a higher stretched out market but again you never know you never know uh the most important part is every single day you're not looking for the most aggressive stock you're looking for the stock that has the biggest value so um let's talk about the today's pivots right uh really strong day very very strong day today uh this was from last night i mean you know again we, tr we try to put uh we try to put um non a bunch of non pivot names right and none of excuse me non beta names that we could possibly find. The only beta names here, there was uh, Tesla that would obviously you couldn't trade at 820 because it gapped up and Facebook. Facebook was a really, really strong move today. Everything else here, you got $11 stock, you know, you, you know, here's an $11 stock, Ruby, that really busted out today. Again, has nothing to do, uh, you know, has nothing to do with uh, beta, right? Just broke out today. Uh, the second one that was non-beta was uh, TLRA, right? O opened up uh, put in a low of like 11.85. We talked about this uh, $12 area on uh, you know on TLRA. Stock went to uh, 13. You know, so again, it's not just beta. It's just stocks that are coming out of very aggressive channels, multi uh, days, weeks, months of distribution. Uh, once they confirm, usually good things are going to happen. So uh, let's talk about the individual pivots of the day. Again, we are about. Um, Nine days or so, right? Nine days or so from beyond coming out with earnings. They finally set a date. We talked about this last night's video. Uh, 120 needs to build and exploded. I mean, absolutely exploded. Uh, here was uh, BYND, right? Here was BYND. Here was the pre-market high. Uh, here is the pre-market high right here. This uh, 1985, this whole range here was 120, right? You go see. This whole range here was 120. Once it reclaimed 120, uh, went to 123.70. Big, big move there. Um, Roku was definitely my trade of the day. We actually, um, I, I, I put this specific area in here because again, the people who are not on the live Twitter feed, that they're, I mean, on the live, in the live webinar, they, they don't get the, you know, they don't get the constant play by play that I'm doing all day. I'm speaking all day, all day, all day. So I, I wanted to make sure I give them very, very specific pivots. Uh, so again, the pre-market notes were uh, green to red on watch. Note, this is not a pivot, just momentum. It really needs to build below the 128 to get below and flush experience only. Um, I actually took it uh, on the remount uh, of red to green and just it destroyed, just absolutely destroyed. Um, my lowest cover was a little, little less than four points. Um, so I was very happy. It was very, very happy. Just a big move, just completely big move. Uh, that 28, once it lost that 28, right? Once it lost that uh, that big area of 28, just just really just got smashed. Here's the 28 level right over here. Uh, got smashed all the way down to 25. So big, big move on Roku. Uh, now it just keeps on, you know, it just keeps on sitting in a range. Uh, 357, 358, yeah, that's exactly where it is right now. Uh, it just, again, the big move came from last week. Uh, Facebook was a big move. Uh, we talked, we covered this again. Uh, I said this over the weekend. It's very, very close to confirming a 60 minute channel, 215 needs to build and Facebook just exploded, right? Just absolutely exploded. Here was the 215, right? Here's the 215, just absolutely exploded, went to 218 today. Very, very strong move 
on Facebook, uh, GoDaddy never confirmed, CRTX never got close, NTCO never got close. And then the video woke up, right? And the video woke up here. Uh, we talked about 288.90, 289 needs to build. And again, he was the first uh, chip maker to kind of uh, wake up. Here was the pivot on the video, right? Here was the pivot on the video. These two candles right over here, right? These two candles, oh, excuse me. These two candles right over here and took out that 289 and just exploded, just absolutely exploded. Um, Square, I really like, okay? I, 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 I like it, okay? It, it traded right to... 82.98 and stop. You don't see how big this 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 level is. As I looked at the chart on the weekly chart on Square, look at the weekly chart. I know they come out with earnings soon, but look at this weekly chart. Okay, 83 was the high from November of 2018. So look at this, right? Look at this. Look how important this whole level is. Tomorrow, if this thing starts reclaiming 83, good chance it's going to run. So keep an eye on that. Uh, space. Uh, again, uh, I tweeted this out, 33. We, we talked about that 33 level in the live webinar. I wanted to make sure that 30 was a, a very constructional pivot for the feed. Again, you guys are not in uh, the webinar. You guys are not hearing that constant change of either order flow, something happened. So I, I want to make sure I put very, very specific prices. Uh, 33 went all the way down to 28. I mean, big, big move there. But again, even if you took the 30, uh, you got a nice, you know, nice strong move there. Uh, Facebook, big, you know, big move on Facebook, Beyond, uh, and the video is big, Roku is huge, uh, on and on and on, um, you know. Oh, yeah, towards the end of the day, we talked about this area in the afternoon, uh, you know, 849, and this is for, again, only for experienced traders, uh, 849, if it builds, can wake up, you know, this thing is, what, 860 after the close. Uh, Amazon, I like, um, Amazon, I like for tomorrow. It broke above the 860, put in a high of 867, uh, 2167, you know, came in a little bit in the close. But tomorrow, if Amazon starts reclaiming and confirming today's price action, this thing's going to go a, a lot of volume, a lot of volume, uh, especially in the weekly 2200. So this could be very, very big. Uh, again, Tesla take on the way. Um, so a lot of really good action today, guys. Really, really good action. Um, Roku, if, if you're holding a runner, any reclaim 20, consider it never got there. Went all the way down to 26 again. So great tape. I mean, really, really good tape. Very strong action majority of the days. And again, now you need to really uh, pick your spots and look for value. So let's talk about uh, let's talk about some value for tomorrow. You know, might as well start out with, with Square. I already told you guys what I'm looking for. Um, I like Square. I think uh, 30, uh, 83 is a big number. Um, I think this thing needs to confirm this 83. If it starts building, you could get a big run. Um, you know, they do report earnings shortly, so please make sure you're aware of when they do have earnings, but if this thing, any bill technically over 83, uh, it's very, very strong. Um, I like this ITCI. Again, I'm gonna give you guys non-beta names. Um, I like this ITCI, first close uh, over daily supply, confirmed uh, Friday's prices. Tomorrow, keep an eye on this thing. This thing starts building, you know, the 2420s. This thing could wake up to 25 and a half. Keep an eye on that. Uh, and the last non-beta name I kind of like is this Shake Shack, all right? Shake Shack looks pretty good. Had a had a big move here, <clears throat> big move here. Uh, only reason why it stopped its supply again. As I say this all the time, there's nothing random uh, in pivots. So tomorrow, if this thing can reclaim, you know, 76.20, 76.30, who knows? Maybe gets north uh, of 78. Again, for all you guys who are coming in uh, tomorrow in the live webinar, please get to Morning Strategy at 9 a.m. Uh, we'll cover Tesla. We'll cover Netflix uh, Beyond. Uh, Facebook, I still like. Square, obviously, we talked about. And Amazon and everything else. Guys, God bless. Great, good start for the week. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, guys. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.